Hey, John. Good, buddy. <clears throat> I just saw your comment before I went live. That's really funny about those mason jars, man. Hey, happy. Fire. Really. I don't know what I'm going to do when I can't go live every night. <laughs> Voodoo in the house. What's up, man? Right on cue, man. There go the trains in the background. NW in the house. Hey, you're in. Minute in, man. We can really get going tonight. Nice. <laughs> That's so funny, John. It's a little late, given uh, the times that I've been doing them lately. Kids just went down, though. Mm -hmm. The Yeti mug with the tea in it tonight. I'm ready to rock and roll. I don't need to go inside, hopefully. Yeah, and W, it's been a little bit, it seems like. That's okay. Real life is also a good thing. It's my new thing. Hot tea with my Virginia base blends. And I'm, uh, I'm smoking some McBaron Navy Flake tonight, which sounded really good. It's my new, uh, it's my new obsession, this McBaron Navy Flake. Mmm, it is so good. Hey, Piper69. Mmm. It's really good, man. Really, really good. Love the rum topping on there. Mike. We got all the usual suspects in tonight. Hey, Flat Cap Piper, how are you? Good to see you. Guys, Flat Cap Piper needs some sub love. And if you guys haven't been over to his channel, he's got a couple of really cool videos so far. So definitely. Ooh, a little Stonehenge. Dang. Nice, guys. Yeah, give him some love. <laughs> there you go. I really think this guy's going to be a sleeper. He's going to be a, a great presenter once he gets cranking out a couple more videos. So that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Voodoo. Nice. Micah's in the house, too. Hey, how are you, Micah? Good to see you. That's one of the rules for the lives, Flat Cap, just so you know. When I do a live, I only ask one thing of the audience is that if anybody comes into the chat that you don't know, go to their channel, give them some sub love, um, and then check out their channel later, obviously. But uh, let us know in the chat that you subbed them. Cool. Thanks, Aaron. Take care, brother. How did your test go, by the way? I didn't even get to ask you. <laughs> NW, I would say don't buy it. I know, seems odd, but uh, I mean, it's it's cheap. So if you really have to have one, then buy one, but it's just not a practical pipe. <laughs> now, if you're looking to kill small rodents or uh, learn about indigenous people's methods for hunting, then yeah, you could probably do that, but uh, that's fine. Okay, gotcha. Well, good luck, Aaron. I hope everything turns out for you, brother. I'm sorry, you got to be kind of schizophrenic when you're doing these lives because you have to carry on conversations with multiple people. So <laughs> I apologize if it seems odd. Hey, Gabriel. Welcome back, brother. Mm. Man, that tea is good. Throw the lid on here so we can keep it hot. 
You bet, Aaron. Make sure you let us know how things turn out. You know, it, it smoked fine. OTC Piper, what's up, man? Yeah, that pipe smoked fine. It's just not practical. <laughs> it's just a weird shape. And I'll tell you what, I got sick halfway through the bowl. I'm not even going to lie. There's no, uh, <laughs> no shame. Uh, you smoke two full coins of a Scudo like a freight train, and you're definitely going to feel it. I'm telling you. <laughs> man, it's nice to see you, OTC. It's been a while, man. Oh, that's awesome. Flat Water Monty in the house. What's up, brother? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is a, a big Dagner pipe that they've got on sale right now. I've got the little Dagner pipe out tonight. OTC was the first dude to give me a shout out in a video when I started. So that's pretty cool. He's in he's down in Tejas as well. Isn't that right? Or am I mistaken? I think you're down in Texas. Right. Okay. I'm not going crazy here. Boardwalk Piper. What's up, brother? Oh, you're painting some parts for your RAM. Nice, man. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We usually have a couple of Texas boys in here. Or girls. OTC and his brother, uh, Catholic Pipe Stutter, they collaborate on a channel called the Sacred Leaf Society, and they do live, uh, you know, live presentations and that kind of stuff. So definitely get over there and take a look at all three of those channels, guys. Catholic Pipe Stutter, OTC Piper, obviously, and the Sacred Leaf Society. Lori, hey, what's up? Nice. We've got a lot of folks in here tonight. That's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> Especially for Texas, you guys are going to be able to get together with some folks in the YTBC, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OTC, anything worth doing is worth doing the right way, right? Taking your time and doing it the right way. So that's cool. It's take your time. We'll all be here for you. There you go. Nice. Rustic Piper. I'm sorry. I've been meaning to say hi. <laughs> How are you, man? It's Sacred Leaf Society. I don't know if there's a the Sacred Leaf Society or it's just Sacred Leaf Society. Wow. It's good. Good, man. Ah, it's good to see everybody. Hey, Lester's in the house. I'm so glad that you got over to this channel, man. I'm, I'm just glad that you, you're here with us, brother. It's so nice. Did you? Oh, cool. Nice boardwalk. Evelyn, good evening. How are you? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We are hanging out here on the back porch with a little bit of snow, fresh snow on the ground. We got a little snow today. Enjoying our pipes and uh, in our hot tea and our tea. So, welcome. <laughs> there you go. Yuck. <laughs> not a tea guy, huh? Oh, not a snow guy, probably, right? That's it. Hey, all right, man. Thank you. I'm doing very, very well. I'm I'm doing very, very well. 
Oh, we've got uh, we've got a legend in the house. Then, if you're uh, if you're the one who's seeking out pipes and tobacco for old Piper sixty nine, then you've uh, you've got a friend in me. That's for sure. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's great. Guys, Evelyn is Piper 69's better half, and she has much better taste in pipes and tobacco than he does. Let's just say that. <laughs> hey, and a uh, little plug. I know I did it in my video last night or the night before. Definitely get over to Piper 69's channel and participate in his giveaway, guys. It's a real easy um, throw in a comment, and you're in it. Nice. Fantastic. We got some uh, canines in the background wanting to be on our live show here. <laughs> hey, Cookout NW, what's up, man? Very good. Very good. Champagne tobacco. Is that that Samuel Goweth uh, Jubilee? Or is it just a like a house blend or something? Look at this. We got some love going on in here tonight. That's cool. Hey, Joe's in the house too. What's up, man? I love this. This is this is awesome. I'm gonna miss this when I, I can't do as many. Hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Fireman Piper. What's up, bud? How are you, man? That reminds me, I got to go back into my live from yesterday and uh, give a sub to Chiz. That guy that jumped in with us. Dang. All right. Steel trap now. I got to make sure I sub everybody too that comes in here. Yeah, we got up to 22. 26 is my all-time high. So if we can get more than 26, that'd be cool. I'd love to hit 30 at some point. That'd be neat. <laughs> there you go. Giving the sub love. That's awesome. All right, pipe check, guys. What's everybody smoking tonight? I've got my Dagner Mini Billy Jean, which I love because it's got this nice little smooth spot here. I wonder if you guys can see it. Nah, it's too hard. Hey, PT Daily, what's up, man? Mini Billy Jean, and I got some uh, uh, McBaron Navy Flake in there, which I've rubbed out. And I've got quite a bit of it hanging out here so we might be able to go for a little while and i got a lot of tea too nice rustic rocking the navy flake with me man cool road town okay cool i've been looking at those man yes evelyn absolutely and we're very close so definitely would love to come up and meet you guys. Nice. How do you like the night train, Lori? Oh. Oh, nice. Some 515 RC1. Nice. Good stuff. In a Joby. Very cool. <laughs> there he is. Guys, Eric Rana. Uh, I'll introduce him, reintroduce him. He uh, changed his channel name here. And maybe he's going to do a little segment on this. I'm sure he will. But he is now Road King Piper. So welcome in, Eric Road King Piper. I'm still going to call you Eric, but that's cool. Eric and I did a little uh, Skype earlier today and had a bowl together. That was pretty cool. Got to know each other a little bit. 
Probably first of many. So that was fun. <laughs> Very cool. Get you one of these guys. Road King Piper makes them. They are really cool. And they sit pretty much any size pipe except for the lumber log. <laughs> Very cool. Isn't this nice cookout, man? That's awesome. I'm looking forward to your giveaway, brother. You were teasing me the other day. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Eric. Definitely have to. Little separation from church and state, you know. Hmm. Sounds good, Voodoo. Nice. Excellent. Fireman Piper, that is classy stuff, brother. I've got a little bit of the Le Petit Robin that I need to try very shortly. Oh, a little epiphany in the country gent. Nice. Brandon, hey, what's up? Nice, nice. Brandon, I've got some more folks in here for you to sub. <laughs> and for them to so love you back. I don't know what that word is, but it's not going to stick. I think I was trying to read the word delish balls. <laughs> I like it. This is delish balls, everyone. Same here, OTC. I've been really thinking about uh, trying out a clay or even a porcelain pipe. I thought that'd be interesting to try. Slub you. <laughs> I, sl I slub you guys. <laughs> Flat cap, the way I do it, I don't know if you're on a phone or not, um, but I just hit that little picture next to their name. It says go to their channel. And then uh, my phone allows it to keep it in a little window, the live going, while I sub them and go back to the window. So I don't know if you have that, but that is out there. Nice. Yeah, guys, definitely, if you're looking to get one of these really cool 3D printed pipe stands, it costs you one tin of tobacco. That's it. And uh, get over to Road King Piper and he'll hook you up. And they go through the mail pretty quickly. Cool, Rustic. That's interesting. Let me know. I'm uh, I'm really interested to see how a clay or porcelain pipe uh, smokes. There you go, Brandon. Uh, it's about 30 degrees out right now. Actually, it's a little less than that, probably. 25. We were supposed to get a ton of snow, but uh, I think it's going to miss us now. We got an inch today. We'll probably get an inch tomorrow. Seven where you are? Yeah. It's supposed to dip down to zero here in western New York in about two days two three days so yeah i heard you have a cold spell it's like 55 degrees <laughs> i was talking to eric he's from uh texas as well eric uh road king uh otc is a texas boy too 
He's out Dallas way. He don't like me. <laughs> A freeze warning? Oh no. <laughs> I'm just picking. <laughs> yeah, he wants he wants a whole slub, a whole slab, actually. He wants a slab. He wants to take a whole slab out of me. It is a German Shepherd. He's beautiful, too. He's absolutely gorgeous. But he just hasn't warmed up to me. <laughs> He's right here. He's next door. <laughs> he doesn't like when I make my presence known. <laughs> I really don't think the uh, neighbor is too happy with me because I'm always out here on the back porch and she can't ever put the dog out because he just goes berserk. I feel bad. I feel bad. Nah. I'll get her a fruit basket or something. <laughs> I'm trying to make nice with my neighbors. All my neighbors are pretty cool cats. Hey, Doug in the house. What's up, curmudgeon? They're all pretty cool. Uh, we all take care of each other. That's the nice thing about this neighborhood. We're real tight in here. You can tell we're really, really tight. Um, <laughs> I'll give her some escudo, see if she likes it. Um, but we try to, you know, we try to take care of each other. Especially with all the snow coming, man. It's crazy. <laughs> oh nice gabriel i love pit bulls too i grew up with a pit bull uh sweetest dog and they get such a bad name they really do um it's you know i don't know this might be one of those controversial concepts to get into but i think it's it's all about the owner you know it's all about how you train your dog And how you socialize them. Doug, I was here when you texted me. And I went out and uh, looked in the mailbox. And there was a slip saying, we missed you, blah, blah, blah. Tried to deliver it. Need your signature. I'm like, ah, dang it. So I, I hung out on Saturday. I watched the mailman. I got another package. He did not try to deliver it. So I'm thinking it's stuck at the post office. I'm going to have to go get it tomorrow morning, man. So, all right, John, take care, brother. We'll see you. John, shoot me. I'll shoot you an email later on. Um, I want to get uh, get your digits so that you can have mine too. And uh, I got to get one of those pipe socks made, man. I, I've been eyeballing that since you teased it out. I, I like that pipe sock. <laughs> you can tell uh, Mrs. Buckeye I've got her number, or I will. <laughs> yeah, Doug, I mean, that's crazy, man. Uh, it's so dumb. But uh, I'll shoot down there tomorrow and see if I can uh, get get it uh, figured out. Always has to be harder than it needs to be, eh? I like cats. I I've had 14 cats in my life. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's been a lot of cats and they don't last very long. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. 
I had a cat from the time I was five until I was 25. Uh, and I really, I, no, it's okay, Doug. Don't worry about it, man. Don't, it's not a big deal. I need to get out and about too. Trust me. Any excuse to get out of the house is, is totally fine with me. Uh, I like cats. I just don't like litter boxes. So I probably won't ever have another cat, but, uh, I was pretty attached to that cat. I, you know, she was my, she was my friend from the time I was a, a little, you know, shrimp. Yeah, litter box is gross, man. It's just gross. Even if I'm not the one who has to scoop it, it's just gross. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cats you don't need to do anything with, right? You just kind of set them and forget them. Make sure they're not peeing somewhere or scratching up the furniture, but that's about it. Put stuff, you know, put water in the water bowl and food in the food dish and scoop the box and you're done. So, yeah. I, yeah, that's the thing. I've had cats turn like you wouldn't even believe. And you can't move. A lot of times they are really, I don't know. And I've got two kids, you know, little, little kids. So last thing I need is a, a cat stinking up the joint with hair all over the dang place. And I don't know. I don't have any animals right now. So I have a hair free house, which is so nice. Except for my wife's crazy curly hair that gets all over the place. But <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no doubt. I must have missed that one. <laughs> yeah, sucking the breath out of my kids. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. Yes, this is good. I think this is going to be my first like stockpile blend, guys. Uh, I actually stole it from, well, didn't steal it, but uh, got the idea from Ben Old Soul, this Navy Flake. I've been into Navy Flakes lately, and I uh, hadn't tried this one. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go get a little bit. And uh, it's phenomenal. It's, uh, it's better than I had expected. It's probably my favorite blend right now, and this is kind of edging out the Escudo even. And you can get a pound of it for like 50 bucks, which is not bad. Hey, 80 Brax 04, what's up, man? Thanks uh, for chiming in, yeah. It is really good. I'm glad you like it too. Oh, Eric, you were late to the party, man. Um, I've got some McBaron Navy Flake in here. Yeah, you can get it in bulk too, Brandon. Definitely a good blend to give a shot to. If you like navies, they're, they're good, man. Hmm. I did see that Newminster on, um, Pipes and Cigars, and I haven't tried that one yet. It's, uh... It's a vapor, I, th I think, with uh, rum. I, can't, I don't know if there is Perique in it, actually, now that I'm thinking of it. It seems like there is. I didn't bring a flake out with me, but there's some pretty dark pieces in it, so I'm pretty sure it's a vapor. With burley. And rum topping, or casing, rather. Wow, I sound like I really know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Really, 
Right. In my opinion, McBaron's is one of the most consistent, uh, readily av- available uh, uh, tobacco producers out there. In my in my opinion. Hey, Steve, what's up, brother? <laughs> Uh, 80 Brax. Yes, I agree. I get a ton of honey out of this, but um, really, especially on the charring light, you get, I really get that alcohol. Um, and then as it gets down in the bowl and concentrates, that last third of the bowl, I really get a ton of rum out of it, uh, which is really nice. And this one, I know it's not uh, common to do this, but I always smoke it in a, a, a stacked up smaller pipe. Um, and that seems to really get a uh, great flavor, but then I'll put tobacco on top if I want a little bit more and the flavor just absolutely intensifies and you get really, really nice sweetness out of it, honey and rum. So, Hey Jordan, what's up, man? Boardwalk, you're, you're dead on that HH series is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Give it a shot. A nice small pipe. Uh, with a tall bowl, skinny bowl, works great. And then stack a little bit of fresh tobacco on top. Dump out the ash with a little bit of, you know, the third or a quarter bowl left. Dump your ash, throw some fresh on top, and it is primo. Really good. Jordan, did I see you were doing a intro video? I think so. Excellent. Excellent. Get over there, guys. Get that intro video. Eyeballs on it, please. Give some sub love to our man, Jordan. I'm so glad that you did an intro video, dude. Welcome to the welcome to the pond. <laughs> Rustic, I tried that HH Burley Flake uh, two nights ago, and I thought that was pretty decent. My lighter's getting cold. <laughs> I got to get one of those uh, Zippo hand warmers that uh, Boardwalk was talking about. See, I should have done that two months ago. Got to put my lighter in my pocket and get it warmed back up. Yeah, absolutely, Brax. For sure, I agree with you. But it's nice to have some folks who are uh, trying the same blend so we can kind of, you know, spitball a little bit and see what uh, what works best. Nice. All right, Doug, take care, brother. Hey, I will uh, shoot you a text as soon as I get that, okay? Thank you so much for shooting me a package, man. That's really nice. <clears throat> absolutely that's uh that's all the fun for me i love the variety too of having a, a wide cellar but i i really want to make sure i have those few blends that i know long term i'm gonna like and i want to age pumpkin spice is just not my thing on pipe tobacco give me a cookie or a pie i'm good pipe tobacco no thank you Mike's getting some Escudo fired up. Nice. Sounds good, brother. I do love the Escudo. The retro hail on this McBaron Navy Flake is just pure rum. In, in the best way possible. It's just sweet, beautiful rum. Oh, there you go, Road King. Nice. Luxury Twist Flake. Aged. Okay, cool. Interesting. It's probably going to sweeten up even a little bit just from the contents of the uh, blend. <clears throat> but you might lose a little bit of that uh, cloying from the topping. It's 
some Gowith Hogarth Cherry Cream Flake in a Mirror Lined Lord Baltimore. Okay. That sounds awesome. We got 23 in here right now, guys. We're pretty close to our record. We need Ricky to weep his way in here. <laughs> oh, we lost one. Never mind. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> I thought about putting a little whiskey in my tea, uh, but I didn't. Rex, I've not tried the rum flake yet. That's one that uh, is high on my hit list. I really want to try that. I'm uh, I'm finding out that rum is really right in my wheelhouse. That's that's the flavor profile that I like the most out of my tobaccos. If I have some topping on it or casing, but I have not yet tried the rum flake, so I do need to try it. I do have some rum twist up in the cellar. I have not tried that yet either. Um, but by all accounts on tobacco reviews and from some other folks, uh, you don't get a ton of the rum flavor on it. So we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. That sounds good. I've not tried that either. The after hours flake. No. I've got a couple of Cornell and deals that I need to try. Hey, what's up, Lo Lau? I am trying, man. <laughs> I'm trying to stay warm. Cool. That's okay. I can just call you Big L, man. That's cool. Oh, cool. Awesome. Indy's a great guy. Chad, great, great guy. Pipe and couple in the house. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Nice. Uh, doing very well. Thank you for asking. I'm, I'm pretty much getting back on my feet now. So give me another week or so and I should be uh, right as rain. Well, Maybe not according to the doctor, but uh, according to my mental state. There's another uh, navy blend from Cornell and Deal that I'm supposed to try. Oh, shoot. It's going to escape me now. Eddie was just talking about it, Pipe Nook. It's one of his uh, favorite blends. Ah, it's gonna, it's gonna escape for a minute. Just another day, huh? Well, I'm glad you're here with us, anyway. There you go. Nice, getting some sub love going on. Yeah, Brax, it seems pretty like a pretty common casing, so it must be a, it uh, has good synergy with tobacco, pipe tobacco, that is. Hey, Wildcat Sam, what's up? Do 
Sour turkey, baby. Hey, thank you, Brax. I appreciate that. Feeling good, though. I'm uh, coming around the bend, so no need to worry about me. <laughs> I thought Steve would like that. Salty pigeon, baby. Plum pudding. Oh, yeah, that is a good one. <laughs> nice yeah i love plum pudding ah, i should have brought some of that down too i've been craving that lately i just forgot when i saw the navy flake <laughs> nice very cool Oh, that's a, that's a pipe that I've been thinking about for a long, long time is getting an OMS billiard. Yeah, that's cool. They're really awesome, man. Salam does just wonderful work, guys. If you guys haven't seen OMS pipes, first off, One Man Smoke kind of was like, he was one of the pillars of the YTPC, let's just say. You can go back and watch some of his stuff. Um, but you guys need to check out his pipe line. OMS pipes. Very, very cool. Um, really, really awesome, awesome looking pipes. Badass, just like really edgy looking manly pipes. That's what I think. Wow, Brax, that's amazing, man. That is amazing. Yeah, it seems like, hey, Jeff's in the house. What's up, buddy? Um, it seems like Mel is still gone for a little bit. I think he's going to be gone for a while, like a good three weeks or so. Well, thanks, Brax. I appreciate it, brother. I really do. 25 in the chat, guys. We're one away from uh, our record, tying our record. Yeah, pipe and couple. I, you know, Dagner pipes were up there with that. And I ended up going with a Dagner pipe first before an OMS. Um, but I'm definitely, I think that might be the next one that I'm going to go after is an OMS pipe. They have really cool uh, Dublins too. I really like the Dublin shape. But I have to have something to chase, right? <laughs> I pretty much have everything I ever wanted as far as piping goes. <laughs> so... I've got to have something on the horizon. Nice. Mm -hmm. I love my Dagner pipes, man. This little mini Billy's really nice. Just a nice little pipe. And I've got a, um, a Dublin with an army mount from them, too. Really like that pipe, too. <clears throat> I'm uh, more on the lighter side, Brax. I like to know it's there. I definitely like it to be constantly reminding me that it's in there, but I want to not be overpowered by it. That's for sure. I got a taste of tobacco. That's what this is all about. I like the, the taste of tobacco. So I don't want it to be, you know, crazy, crazy over the top. <sighs> Nice. Given some, we're at 28, guys. We already surpassed our biggest lives. So this is awesome, guys. Very cool. Very cool. 29. Very cool. Thank you, guys, for being here with us. This is so much fun. Hey, we got 31 in now. We did it, guys. That's fantastic. 
<laughs> Very cool. And you guys were here. That's excellent. Excellent. Thank you guys so much. It's so much fun. It's not about numbers even. It's just about having fun with everybody and smoking our pipes and enjoying. Uh... <laughs> Can we break 50? Man, that'd be crazy. <laughs> That's nice, guys. This is cool. <laughs> the running pipe, man. Hey, good to see you, man. This guy, you guys have to get over to Running Pipes channel, by the way. Um, and for those of you who have not been in my lives before, there's only one rule for you guys, and that is anybody you see in the chat, you give them some sub love, get over to their channel, click that subscribe button, come back and let us know that you did it. Um, running Pipe is fantastic. This guy has a, an excellent palette. Um, but even more so, he is very, very apt at doing reviews. Uh, if you really want to find out about some tobaccos, this guy will describe the hell out of them. <laughs> I think the, the key, uh, we've been talking about this recently, to uh, doing good reviews on tobacco. Captain Clench, hey, there he is. Um, the key to doing a good review on a tobacco is having some good descriptor words that you can use and some uh, uh, some of the vocabulary, I think, in making the connections, right? And then verbalizing it. It's not so much about having a good palate because we're all tasting it. Yeah. But uh, this guy, he's a thesaurus of adjectives, let's just say. So I'm going to dump my ash. I've still got about a third of a bowl here. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird, but I'm going to stack some fresh tobacco on this. And I'm telling you what, it's going to taste amazing. Love it. Do a little McBaron Navy Flake tonight. For those of you who are just joining. We were talking about how to get the best flavor out of this tobacco. And I've, I've found this method, although it's a little bit uh, odd, is... Uh, is a way to get some really nice, especially the rum notes out of it. So, <laughs> hopefully, my lighter's warmed up a bit. Derek Tant, the mayor is in the house, guys. What's up, brother? How are you, man? Good to see you. Yeah, that is good. Hey, it's all good. Thanks for popping by, brother. I really appreciate it. We got a lot of uh, new presenters in this live chat here. So good to get them over and take a look at some of our YTPC uh, royalty in the house. <laughs> nice. Man, so good, so good. Very cool, guys. <clears throat> I think it's good timing, uh, Eric, to do your name change on your channel. I think it's good. Right now, you're just getting the channel started. You might as well just uh, be Road King Piper. You call yourself Road King Piper, you know. You might as well uh, just commit and make that the channel. Brand yourself the Road King Piper. It's a good way to go.
Sorry, guys. <coughs> oh, yeah, we were just talking about the rum flake. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, we were talking about rum tobaccos, and I've been uh, hitting up some of the Navy flakes. Landed on this one. This one happens to be, the McBaron Navy Flake happens to be Old Soul's favorite tobacco blend. Or he recently said that. So um, I got myself some and uh, then I stocked up on it because I think it's going to be a long-term love. All right, Gabriel. Nice to see you, my friend. Take care. We'll see you soon. Nice. Yeah, I got to get a little bit of that uh, Gowith and Hogarth rum flake. I have not tried it yet. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Brax. Yeah, that's what it's about. It's, you know, I don't have an agenda here or anything. We don't really get topical in the lives. We just hang out and enjoy our pipe and uh, check out all the new folks coming in and out. Just, uh, just chat. That's it's just fun, you know, a little pipe on the back porch. I wish you guys were all here with me, and you kind of are. All right, Rustic, take care, brother. Good to see you as always, man. <clears throat> there you go, Derek. That'll probably be on my list here at some point to snatch some up. I've seen it uh, at some of the big online retailers recently and thought to get it, and I just haven't. <laughs> I probably would need a bigger porch. <laughs> Happy. I don't know. I definitely wanted to raid his seller back when he was doing the giveaway, that's for sure. Four bowls of haunted bookshop. That'll light you up pretty good. <laughs> That'll put a little pep in your step. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, Rug Pipe. Man, that's a, that's a Nick bomb right there. At least it has been for me. Occasionally. I like the flavor of that haunted bookshop, though. That Perique definitely sets it off. It's good. <clears throat> Brax, that's a good question, man. I'd love to get to the New York pipe show. I, I'm just not well enough to do it this time around. Love to get to Chicago, you know, when it comes. Um... But we've been talking about just doing some meetups here in the spring, going to Boswell's and uh, getting some of the local folks around. I'm in western New York, but I'm pretty close to the PA border, and we'd like to get uh, get some folks together. I'm thinking about putting something together like May, make it like my birthday trip type thing down to Boswell's and uh, getting some folks. Oh, don't start with a baby shark. I will destroy you. <laughs> I have two uh, two kids under two. We listen to baby shark incessantly <laughs> but yeah um if you guys haven't uh been over to road glide sully's channel check it out he's putting together a map of ytpc members so that we can get some meetups put together so check out that video it was uh, one of his most recent videos very cool get yourself on the map Focus here. There we go. <clears throat> it's Road Glide Sully. Um, if you're looking for him, you can check him right in my channels list too. Search with an R.
Man, I'm trying to keep up here. Oh, there he is. Onion's in the house. What's up? <laughs> How are you, buddy? You know, my wife read something on uh, Facebook about it was just some funny little caption about how in uh, in 15 years uh, some hip DJ in a slick LA nightclub is gonna put Baby Shark on and the whole room is gonna go wild. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to keep it down because my neighbor came out the back door for a second. That's why I got quiet. I don't want to be too intrusive. <laughs> nice. Anyone who just did ha 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 in the chat probably has little kids. <laughs> Yeah, I have to remind myself it is Sunday night. People have to work in the morning <laughs> and it's quarter after 10. So it's after curfew. Happy, you're get, definitely going to have to do a video on that horse meerschaum that you're going to get. That sounds pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, geez. Yeah, Lester. I grew up in a... Uh, I grew up in a daycare. My mom has run a daycare since I was five years old. So um, it, it was Teletubbies back when I was a teenager. <laughs> and uh, that's burned into my memory. Nice. Sorry, I'm a little behind in the chat. Uh, Brax, I usually smoke outside. I don't smoke indoors at all. My wife, uh, she likes really strong aromatics. So, as probably most wives do, I would assume. Nice. Yep. Don't forget Dipsy. Yeah. <laughs> Bring up that purple devil. Tinky Winky, Dipsy, Lala, and Poe. I can name all the Teletubbies. And uh, Dipsy's the one that has the straight up and down thing on his head. Yeah. Dipsy. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> yeah, what happened? We were talking about tobacco, and now we're talking about Teletubbies. I'm sorry. Off Teletubbies. <laughs> Wife approved blends. Let's see. Um... Eileen's dream is definitely a wife approved blend. Let's just say that's okay. Boardwalk. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm lost too. And I'm the one who's hosting this dang thing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. When onion was a kid, they were just uh, stick figures with spears and buffaloes. <laughs> Oh, really? Lester, your wife didn't like Eileen's dream, huh? Huh. Oh, there you go. You caught the Frozen train. Now they're coming out with Frozen 2, brother. Get ready.
Derek, are you still acquiring things after all this time? I wanted to ask you that before. <clears throat> there you go. Probably not. It's probably going to be a disappointment to everybody on Frozen 2. Yeah, it's true. It's It seems like it's going to be real sad. Yeah, are you still acquiring tobacco for your cellar? Are you on the hunt still, Derek? <laughs> Onion, you're something, dude. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I hear you, man. Okay. Okay. Just curious. Like Derek, if you ran into, if you went into a brick and mortar for some odd reason and they had esoterica on the walls, would you be, would you be grabbing it up or leaving it for the next guy? That's what I expected your response would be. <laughs> Piper 69's uh, ears just perked up when I said that. You and I have to go raid the uh, magic box there, uh, Piper 69. I've been thinking about it for a while. <laughs> Hell yeah. Has anyone tried uh, the Brown Flake? Wait, Brown Virginia Flake, I think it's called, by Wessex? Maybe I've got the name wrong. I think it's the brown Virginia flake. <clears throat> Brax, I'm right with you. There's a few that I like just fine, but uh, for the most part, uh, I'm not, uh, not a, a fanatic about esoterica's. Oh, did he? Okay. I'll have to go check that out. I saw Beans 316 did one on it a little while back, and it sounded delicious. It sounded like it'd be right up my alley. Um, so I was just curious if anybody else has had experiences with that blend. I know, Piper 69. I got some Esoterica. You want it? It's going to cost you, though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we can work something out. I got a few, a few tins you might like. I'd trade. I'd do some trading if you wanted. <clears throat> there you go. Well, it's just like uh, uh, Nightcap, right? You know, everybody was so hyped up on the nicotine and Nightcap, and how many of us have had that, and it was like not that big of a deal as far as nicotine goes, right? It's a, it's definitely a bold blend, but it's not going to kill you, you know? You're not going to smoke it and then never smoke another pipe because it was just frightening and have Vietnam flashbacks the next time you see it. It's not that bad.
Yeah, see, OTC had the same uh, same response as me. I remember we talked about that one time. It's really uh, – it gets overhyped, like you said. Gotcha. Yeah, I think I've only got one – Nightcap tin in my cellar, too, right now. <clears throat> I ended up running into an 8-ounce bag of Penzance, and uh, I ended up uh, passing that along to somebody else who wanted it more. <laughs> I have a little bit in a jar. That'll keep me busy. There's particular blends in Dunhill um, that I really love. The um, blue label flake and the dark flake are fantastic. Those ones that are ones that I wish I had more of. Elizabethan's good, but it's there's others out there. Yeah. Early morning pipe and nightcap are great. Um, I've got enough early morning pipe to keep me busy for a long time. 965, I've got some of that. I've got just bulk of some of them. So I didn't really need to uh, hold on to the tins that I had hoarded up. So I pretty much traded all mine away at this point. I've got a tin of everything, basically, just for posterity's sake. That's it, OTC. There's just so many. There's just so many blends out there right now. There's so many good things to discover. We don't need to be dwelling in the past here. Yeah, Dark Flake is really good. <clears throat> You're right, Boardwalk. Right on, man. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, running pipe. If you run into it and you don't have it, you might as well snatch it up for your seller. It makes for great, uh, great uh, trading fodder, if nothing else, you know. it's It's got some value to some folks in the hobby, so you might as well have it if you can get it at a good price. But you're not going to go and pay you know, $200 for a, a pouch of um, Penzance on eBay. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. OTC McClellan, 100%. 100%. Dunhill was very uh, narrow, in my opinion. McClellan, they, you know, span the gamut. And I've only tried maybe, like... Maybe a dozen McClellan blends, but every single one I've tried, I've loved. From their aromatics to their English blends to their crossover blends, XYZ. Yeah. No need. I've got an opened uh, tin. I just tinned up, or jarred up, rather, a tin of Quiet Nights. I've never tried it. I, I should probably try that at some point. <clears throat> Go to cold weather blends. Uh, pretty much everything is always cold here. <laughs> Yeah, they are. Every GLP's uh, English blend has been fantastic so far that I've tried. Really love Pirate Cake. Oh, wait, no. Pirate Cake is not GLP's. Excuse me. What am I thinking of? Oh, Gaslight. That's what I'm thinking of. Gaslight. Fantastic. 
All right, Onion, take care, buddy. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, Brax. Gaslight is by GLP's. Pirate Cake is by Cornell and Deal. I got a little confused there for a moment. But they're both really great blends. I'm right with you, OTC. I, I pretty much uh, kind of scan over it with the dousing rod and figure out what, uh, what I want to get for that moment. It's nice to have a lot of variety, too. I have way too much variety, these guys will tell you. <laughs> with uh, just under 200 blends to choose from at any given moment. Yeah. Incoming emojis. <clears throat> yeah, Brandon. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Brax, that is true. Cornell and Deal does um, produce the GLP's blends. Yes, correct. Sorry, that is a little confusing. Don't be humble. You have 500, yeah. Hey, Chris is in the house. What's up, buddy? Star of the East is fantastic. I don't know if it's a Penzance-ish blend to me. I don't think so. But it is a very nice, smooth English. Nice, man. Chris is a great guy, folks. If you uh, get a chance... Shoot over to his channel and give him some sub love, too. I love watching your videos, Chris. Just love watching your videos. Um, you're just so fluid with the ASL. I love it. And there's something just so elegant about it. Um, and your content is fantastic, man. But uh, I just I just enjoy watching it, man. It's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah, I've got to get over and try some of those Sutliff crumble cakes too, but uh, I don't know. I haven't uh, I haven't uh, done it yet. There you go. <coughs> All right, Boardwalk, take care, brother. Have a good night, man. Good night, Mike. Take care. Eric, no, I haven't. Uh, I've got a few in the cellar that are waiting for me to cut them up and get on it, but I have not. I just got a huge length of brown bogey from uh, Patriot Piper, uh, which I've got to try. I've heard uh, good things about that. I do like the Voodoo Queen. That is good. I agree, Brax. That's the best part of it, in my opinion. I have not tried the wild hair. I know um, James Long is to that. He, he gave it out in his giveaway. Oh, there you go. Yeah, get on it, guys. You're looking for a good rope. That's uh, a lot of folks are interested or really like that brown bogey. It sounds disgusting, but uh, and it looks disgusting. Let's just be honest. It looks like a dog shit. <laughs> I mean, I call it like I see it, but. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good night, piping couple. 
I must have missed it. I'm sorry. I'm going to give it the good old 10 minute warning guys we're getting down to the end of this bowl and that's usually the sign that it's time to wrap it up and i'm almost out of tea this was a good one tonight guys really fun it was pretty cool we got up to 31 that's a new record so that's uh that's awesome i know it doesn't seem like much to to most but uh that's uh i'm proud of that that's pretty cool nice to have so many cool people in here and a lot of new ones for us this time around so that was pretty neat getting some sub love going on nice oc otc that's cool hook the brother up <clears throat> yeah this was fun Thanks, Brax. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Steve. Good to see you, buddy. Sour turkey, baby. <laughs> and folks, uh, if you haven't commented and you're just out there lurking, I just really appreciate you guys, too. It's really nice to have folks to just come in and uh, hang out with us and I hope you're out there just enjoying your pipe or just enjoying the company and watching the comments and all that stuff. We appreciate you guys so much uh, just for the support and just for uh, hanging out. And I hope you get a little something out of this too. So uh, much love to you guys too. And you guys all know, especially if you've been around, there's Turkey Lurky right there, Sam. <laughs> You guys know if you ever need anything. Hey, Groovin, what's up, brother? If you guys ever need anything, you just got to hit me up, fouridepiper at gmail.com. Um, you want, have any questions about anything? You, you want some suggestions? You want to just chit-chat? You want to hook up for Skype or something like that? I'm, I'm happy to do that. I've been doing that recently with some folks. Um, having a lot of fun with it. And uh, that's what it's all about is just uh, making this a welcoming place for everybody. And... <clears throat> giving some support and uh, hopefully just allowing people to enjoy their hobby a little bit more. Sam, I, I'll package a hug, brother. <laughs> you can open the jar. <laughs> You'll have some New York air in a and an air hug from me, brother. <laughs> or else. Hey, Ricky War, PR Piper, at zero hour, as usual. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> That's funny. Nice, guys. Well, my pipe is out, and that means this is a wrap. So thank you guys so much. Much love to all you guys, all the usual suspects, and all the folks who popped in and uh, and gave some support tonight. Derek Tan, thank you so much for popping in. I think it jazzed everybody up to see you. And all you guys out there who uh, popped in for the first time, I hope to see you again. Um, we do lives a lot. Brax, it was nice talking with you, brother. Very nice talking with you. Thank you. Jordan, I'm going to go check out your intro video here in just a little bit. 
So, guys, get over, give some sub love to all those people you haven't gotten over to yet. Running Pipe, nice to talk with you too, man. Everybody, much love all around. Have a great night and a good start to your week tomorrow. And we'll be on live probably tomorrow night too. Hey, PT Daily lurking in the background too. That's cool, man. It's all good. Nice. Ricky War. Happy birthday, dude. Go live. I'll be there. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a great night.